uh, I'm going to post a video here, and it's got to do with the lighting uh, over the bandsaw. And as I discussed in another shop video, uh, I need to extend the lighting in other parts of the shop also. But what I'm going to do is um, post a video, and I don't know whether I'm going to tag a bandsaw or tag it just the shop update for the lighting. Um, I might uh, tag it bandsaw lighting, but anyways, uh, regardless of that, what you're going to see is uh, what I did is I bought the light fixture, I bought all the wiring and stuff for it, but what I did is uh, hooked the light fixture up with a temporary plug and plugged it into an extension cord just to see if I was going to be satisfied with the light fixture, how it hung, and stuff like that. So what I did is I filmed it for you and uh, again or uh, as I explain in in the video when I first turn the camera on it, it is uh, dark darker and what happens is the camera senses the low light it shifts to um, a brighter scene so when I first turn the camera on is kind of more realistic of how I see it so when I should go to the next clip you're gonna see the camera turn on you're gonna be see it being darker and then you're gonna see it shift to a, a brighter intensity on the video so the first part is how I see my shop usually. Uh, the second part is unrealistic because the camera, uh, the camera has adjusted to low light levels and, and shifted it so that a thing looks brighter. One of the things that I talk about in uh, this clip is that I, uh, the transition between uh, when the camera first turns on and it uh, readjusts itself, it readjusts the F factors so that it brightens the, uh, the images up in the video. I say that the shot probably looks to me in normal light uh, as the camera turns on when it first turns on. Well, that's kind of uh, a little far-fetched. It, it's not quite that dark in here as when the camera first turns on, but um, it's kind of in the midpoint between what you see during the normal part of the video than what you... Uh, what you see when the camera first turns on it's pretty dark when it first turns on then it lightens up and but it becomes overly light and uh, it's not not realistic as to the light in the shop but anyways what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll tell you that I'm gonna uh, put a clip in usually what I do between clips in a uh, videos uh, when you're producing a video is you put a fade or a transition in between the clips so that it's not an abrupt start stop um, changing subjects um, what I'll do is in the first clip I will not put that transition in so that you can get the full effect of how the camera transitions between dark and light um, so I just wanted but anyways, to know that um, what we're going to do is have a couple of videos. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to get done. Um, again, I just uh, wired it temporarily, plugged it into an extension cord, and plugged and unplugged it to kind of show you guys what what there was and uh, what the light provided for me. So um, there is the light up there. Uh, it's not on but you will see it in a minute, um, what it did for me. And uh, I also provided a clip, uh, the tripod sitting there in front of the welding table, I provided a clip of what it did to uh, provide um, more light to the welding table. Now, that corner over there is dark, which also lends it to that side of the welding table be but I will um, again uh, I'm gonna probably post this thing as a uh, bandsaw uh, lighting shop update but anyways uh, I'll bring you back 
Here's what I'm going to do. This is the bandsaw and what I did is went out and picked up an LED light. Now this is the bandsaw before the LED light and um, I'm talking and I, uh, logically have not seen this video but what happens is the camera uh, focus or will light shift the F factor will change um, so when the camera starts out it gets darker and then as a you it has low light it picks up intensity so that probably happened uh, when I first turned the camera on um, so what I'm going to do is uh, what I did is just wired that fixture into an extension cord um, and plugged it in to see if I like what the fixture provides so um, here it is before and let me go I'm going to walk over and plug it in So there it is with it plugged in. Um, now what it is, um, let me, and I don't know where the camera will focus when I take you up there. What it is is a hanging uh, two by two. It's not really two by two. Uh, I mean, it's maybe two feet long, but it's not exactly two feet wide, but they call it a two by two, I think. Um, it's a hanging one so it, it comes with chains and stuff like that and um, I've just kind of strapped it around one of the pipes up there for right now I think I might shift it a little um, to our right as we're looking at it so that I get a uh, better light focus on the cut side of that bandsaw so um, what I'm going to do, turn you off and take you over to the welding table and show you the improvement that I got there too. So let me shut you off. Okay, so here we are at the welding table with the light off. Um, and this is just what the regular light provided uh, in my shop on the welding table. And again, I don't know whether the camera shifted uh, focus when... I uh, after I turned it on again it adjusts itself to low light conditions but let me go plug it in and show you the difference uh, what I gained on the welding table Hopefully you could see that. Um, I can tell just, you know, it's kind of hard to tell when you stand here, you walk away, you change the light source and come back and look at it. But uh, I definitely can tell. There was always, when, when I was standing here, and let me just uh, emphasize, when I was standing here, because the light was, uh, the existing light was behind me, there were always cast shadows on myself except in the summertime when the doors are open and then it's fine but um, in the winter time or when the doors are closed at night it uh, was a bitch but um, let me I, I haven't seen the video so uh, let me go take a look and see what it, uh, happened when I turned them on okay we'll wait for the camera to adjust and um, here it is it's wired in uh, permanently to these set of lights um, what I did is kind of moved it out uh, it's just hung off of the pipes up there which are well supported <clears throat> um, I moved it out um, probably 18 inches uh, farther from where it was before um, just so that it would uh, I'd get a little more light out away from the wall 
Um, I still should be able to uh, still should be able to get a good eye on uh, cut lines and stuff like that. Um, there's even a possibility that I might put a task light over here. You know, like a some type of light, like is on the grinder. Uh, that bulb don't work, but I'll bring it back. I have no idea where I left off. Uh, somebody came in and I had to uh, shut down so that I could talk. When I left off, what happened is, as I was showing you that little task light on the grinder, and uh, when I left off, somebody walked in and I uh, shut the camera down. When I, After talking to them for a while and, and restarting the video, I don't even remember exactly where I left off. So I was talking about task lighting. Um, one of the things that I'm probably going to do and is run a uh, plug, a 110 plug, over onto that wall behind the uh, bandsaw. And uh, there's a very good possibility that I might add a little task lighting into it if uh, I get a shadow effect from the bandsaw. No matter, unless you had two sources of light uh, shining on that sideways, you're going to get a shadow effect because of the way the arm comes down on that bandsaw. So, um, I might add test light, uh, some 110 voltage or 110 outlet over there um, that will supply the task light. But anyways, uh, I just wanted to interject this because I didn't pick up uh, the task, uh, ta the issue of the task lighting when I re open the uh, um, video. Anyways, um, so it's in, it's hardwired. Um, and I'm happy with it. Uh, I might be adjusting it a little bit, see if I can move it out a little bit away from the wall. I'm thinking that I'm getting good reflection off of the wall um, because that wall is white. Logically, not with that skid sitting there, but I'm getting good reflection off of it and um, but I will try and adjust it a little bit to uh, see if uh, lowering it, moving it out, uh, moving it sideways a little bit uh, does anything to it. Uh, it's a hanging fixture, so it's not like it's going to be difficult to move. Um, but I'll bring you back. So as part of a little in conclusion video here or clip, um, there were some parts of it, the uh, video that I edited out. I, I went into a discussion about the rest of the shop and the lighting in the shop and what I planned on doing with it, but I'm not going to uh, put that in this clip or in this video because uh, I, I want this to be about that task lighting for the uh, bandsaw. Um, the lighting in the shop will be... Uh, uh, addressed in probably shop updates and I'm not going to go into detail about it I'll just show you kind of like before and after clips of the lighting um, how it was done or the dark spots in the shop and how I address them uh, if anybody wants to know about that light it uh, came from Home Depot and uh, there's there's the box on it uh, it's a uh, 120 volt light, or it can actually be 277 volt to uh, 11,200 Loomis. Um, but anyways, there it is. So in conclusion, um, that's it. And the rest of the lighting will be addressed in shop updates. And again, it's not going to be in detail. But anyways, that's it.